Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Mari Drinks. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, subscribed my channel, please do support me. Subscribe my channel in my YouTube channel Mari Drinks. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Macam biasa lah. A few friends keep asking me um, about this topic a uh, few times, few years ago. What's the difference between tuak and lihing? Okay. Um, let me talk on general first, the terms of tuak, what people don't understand, what people misunderstand about tuak. People think um, tuak is uh, a rice wine from Borneo. Of course, it's a rice wine from Borneo, but it's not all rice wine. We call it tuak. We have different, different uh, types of rice wine, uh, different name and different techniques as well. Uh, um, back in the old days, uh, we, we, before we, produce we we how to say this we invent um, lihing and also tuak we actually have another the oldest one is called tapai uh, some part of indonesia they call it tape um, yeah, in philippines they call it uh, tapui or tapai also got certain of part uh, but basically tapai is actually fermented rice where the ferment dried uh, we call it dry fermentation in modern age for at least one month in a in a clay jar when we are going to drink it we only topping up a water and then we drink it with a bamboo straw for that um, clay jar itself it's quite long and also has uh, their own filter we created uh, traditionally uh, we've been drinking tapai quite a lot in my hometown during harvest festival during weekend during any celebrations also uh, thanksgiving day so basically people already know what is tapai is all about okay so we move on to tuak so tuak that consists of four ingredients uh, which is rice yeast water and sugar then it's fermented for at least two weeks only can be drink after that or people like to uh, to how to say to to strain it the, the water and they bottle it for aging aging is for clarity of the the liquid itself lah. Um, so the the alcohol level for tuak is at least uh, five percent to twenty percent okay the highest one is twenty percent we move to Lihing. Lihing is a rice wine from Sabah. So they have a difference as well in terms of technique and ingredients. So Lihing, they consist of three ingredients only, which is rice, water, and yeast. Okay? The alcohol volume, it can be 5% to 20%. Okay, that is for lihing. Understand this. And then after that, they also edge it for clarity. Some people. So that is between tuak and lihing. Okay, lihing is lihing, tuak is tuak. They have two different ingredients and two different techniques. It's too deep if I talk about the techniques itself. So that is tuak and lihing. Please don't forget, tuak and lihing is two different things. Uh, we move on to the next one. Um, which is the other types of rice wine in Borneo. Okay, um, we move for the distilled one. The distilled one we have in Sarawak, which is after you get the tuak. So when tuak distilled, they become langkau. Okay, langkau is about 20% to 40%. It can be up to 100% also good. Okay, alcohol by volume. Lihing, after you get lihing, you distill it, it becomes talak or montoku. Some people call it montoku, some people call it talak, but generally it's talak. Uh, it is distilled from lihing, 
uh, the alcohol by volume it's about um, I can say 20% to up to 70% also have that is the distilled uh, rice wine lah for Borneo so we have two types the rest uh, the other rice wine we also have uh, like um, Tinagai so Tinagai is the water from Tapai you suck it off because you to keep on topping water right you top water and then you suck it up the water and then you bottle it and then serve to the other peoples the purpose of um, uh, Tinagai is because you don't want to share with other peoples uh, the jar and also the, the, the bamboo straw it's hygienic things lah, basically and also because of so many peoples they cannot take turn to drink the tapai so we to, we take the waters from the tapai itself and then we serve it to other peoples so that is for Tinagai we have another one is called Linuto so Linuto is a rice wine a cloudy type which is more starchy less alcohol by volume some people prefer high volume lah. Uh, so by Linuto we blend it normally we use the swizzles the, the, the wooden swizzles it's come from um, the, the, the wood tree we, we blend it and then we strain it it's become white color rice wine milky rice wine yeah. that is for Borneo rice wine I hope you understand the difference between Lihing and Tuak so never call any Borneo rice wine a Tuak only uh, or also uh, whatever in Sabah you simply call it Lihing now because it's, they have the different techniques different ingredients okay i hope this information helps you a little bit thank you for watching see you on the next video bye